Okay, hello everybody. Uh, lesson learned. When you're recording videos, remember to make sure your mic is on. Um, this is the third attempt at making this video. And my mic is definitely on this time, so we're good. Um, all right, today I'm gonna show off um, how to visualize multi-dimensional arrays in the inspector. It's a pretty simple task, and all you have to do is make one extra class and then an editor script. Um, first off, if you guys haven't seen my game yet, I'm going to show show it off so that I can explain how I use it. Um, so what I have here is a map module and a map module class that I'm using, which is just a 10 by 10 of uh, tiles that you can see in the top left here. How I actually generate the art on those tiles is using a multi-dimensional array of vector twos. Um, not the most efficient way, but it's what I'm using right now. And when I was looking at how to visualize this, I found a few. Uh, I found a video that was the end result is what I'm using now, but it was sort of convoluted, um, and then a bunch of other scripts and stuff, but uh, nothing that was really direct. So. How to do this is pretty simple. You're going to make a new class, uh, and this is going to contain the uh, variables, the type of variable that you want to display in the inspector in the multi-dimensional array. Um, you're going to create the class, make it system serializable, and then you're going to create a struct in that class and also make it system serializable. Um, once you do that, inside the struct, you declare an array of whatever variable you want. So here I'm using vector twos. You could change that to boolean, uh, int, float, whatever you want. It'll work. Um, and then right after that, you create an array of your struct and set it to whatever size you want. And if you want it to be variable, I'm not sure if we can figure that out. But right now I have it programmed in because I'm only ever using 10 by 10s. Um, once you have this set up, you switch over to the editor script. And if you're not familiar with what an editor script is, um, it's pretty simple once you get used to it. You inherit from Unity Editor, and you place it in the editor folder. So you just create a folder called editor, put it in the top of your uh, project hierarchy, leave it there, and then just any editor script you need, you just drop it in there. So you inherit from Unity uh, Editor, and for this specific editor script, you're going to want to tag it with custom property drawer, type of whatever you named your uh, other class. And you're going to want to inherit from property drawer. Everything else from here on out is pretty straightforward, um, other than serialized property. Um, but what this is doing is it's just grabbing your array of arrays. Um, from your other script, and then this right here is actually grabbing the data from inside those arrays. Uh, so this first one is to grab <laughs> rows, and the second one in here is to grab the actual row itself. Um, but everything else is just about positioning. So you have a new rectangle here, and you just basically you just uh, iterate. Um, first I go, what is this? I think I go down, yeah, I start at the top, uh, go through that entire row, um, generating a property field. And the property field is what you actually see in the inspector. Just this XY is the property field for an, um, a vector two. And then you just keep iterating the rectangle that you're using right here in the property field variable, and it basically writes itself. Um, it's really straightforward. If you have any questions to ask, I'm going to be posting these two um, scripts. So if you, I don't even know if anybody would, would want to use this specifically, but you can just take it and uh, mess around with it and figure it out. This function down here at the bottom, um, if I comment it out, I'll show you what happens. That just dictates the size um, so that the <laughs> inspector knows where to 
drop the add component button. I'm using a lot of magic numbers here, but I'm pretty sure you can use uh, the screen width, the screen height, or the inspector width, inspector height, and stuff like that. But I just found it easier to use this. <coughs> and that is basically it. Um, if you're crazy enough like me, you can use it as a tile editor and create Link's Awakening using it. If you just want to have a 4x4 of booleans for whatever reason um, with labels on them, go ahead. Uh, so yeah, hopefully uh, this has helped some people out. Um, this is my first time trying to produce daily content. I'm going to get better and better as the days go. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.